Okay, we have retained another interesting integral from the MIT integration. It should be 2006. This is number 29. We have the integral from 1 to square root of 3, 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 dx. Okay, I know exactly two good ways to do this. There's regular trig substitution and there's hyperbolic trig substitution. I just recorded another video with the hyperbolic trig substitution, so now let's do it with the regular trig substitution. So what I want to do for this with it in this form here is let's just do a substitution for x equals secant t. The reason that's going to work pretty nice is because if we plug in secant here, when you have secant squared t minus 1, we have an identity that this is the same thing as tan squared of t. So from here, let's just take a derivative on this. dx is going to be secant t tan t dt. And let's just get our value for t. Using the inverse, this is going to be secant inverse of x. So first evaluating our upper bound, square root of 3, this is going to be secant inverse of square root of 3. I don't have a nice way to simplify that, so I'm just going to leave that as secant inverse square root of 3. And next, evaluating this at 1, secant inverse at 1, that's going to be at 0. That's just because cosine of 0 is 1, and this is just the reciprocal of that, so that's our value there. And then doing all this stuff, our dx value is going to be this. We're going to have secant t, tan t, dt. And then here we're going to have, like I said before, this is going to become everything inside the radical is going to become tan squared t inside the square root. So when we take the square root of that, that's just going to give me absolute value, tan of t. But then if you look at these bounds and you just actually focus on what this value is with a calculator, a graph, whatever you have, this whole thing is quadrant one. And so in quadrant one, tangent's always going to be positive. So we'll just drop the absolute value here. And then what we can do is just cancel the tangents and we're just, and we're just integrating secant. So going ahead with this integral, this is just going to give me ln absolute value, secant t plus tan t. But again, because we're in the first quadrant, secant and tangent are always going to be positive, and we'll just drop the absolute value now, and we can just put in parentheses, and we just need to evaluate this from 0 to secant inverse square root of 3. Now first, let's look what happens when we evaluate this upper bound. Now we're going to end up here, this is going to be plugging into secant, this is going to be secant of secant inverse square root of 3. Well, again, because we're in the first quadrant, we can actually just kind of cancel these, and this value is actually just going to be square root of 3. So we're saying for our secant t value, this is square root of 3. And what we can do is use this to draw the triangle in order to find tangent of t. So drawing the triangle, trying to get it correct. So drawing the triangle, we're going to have the angle on it's going to be this t. And now for, and now for secant, it's going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So I can write this as square root of 3 over 1. Use Pythagorean theorem on this to find the third side. This side's going to be square root of 2. So with this triangle, we can find our value for tan of t because it's just opposite over adjacent, and so that's just going to be square root of 2. And now we have everything we need because we get our secant t value and we have our tan t value, and so we can just plug it in and finish it off. So going ahead with this, we're going to have, this is just for this upper bound, we're going to have natural log, secant t is going to be square root of 3, plus our tan t value is going to be square root of 2. And then minus, evaluating at 0, we're going to have natural log, secant at 0 is going to give me a 1, and then plus tan at 0 is just 0. But then this is just natural log of 1. That value is just 0, so this is going away. So for my final solution of this, we just get natural log of square root of 3 plus square root of 2. And that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty straightforward trick substitution from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.